In an earlier training video, we learned about how to apply themes and the whole definition and the premise and the basis for working with your themes and how it gets set up. You want to watch that training video because if not, and this one's not going to make much sense. Assuming that you've seen it, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom colors, your own custom fonts as when it comes to themes, and then the collection of that, those three elements, colors, fonts, well, effects you can't customize, but those three elements make up the overall theme that you can go ahead and save as your customized theme. So to go ahead and customize your themes individually, the elements that is that make up the overall theme, come up here and click on the page layout tab, go to the themes group, there you go. There's the theme that is made up of these three elements, colors, fonts, and effects. And I want to show you how you can create your own custom theme color. Click on the drop down arrow. If you don't like any of these, then come down to the very bottom, click on customize colors, and there we go. You've got your text and background, and so you got the samples to compare and contrast when you have a dark background. The dark blue, like you see here, you want white text or something light against a dark background, as opposed to a light background, which is right here, with dark text. And then you get your accent colors for different smart art shapes, and then down below your hyperlinks. So you can see here that before you click on it, this is what it looks like in both the light and the dark background. And then after you click on it to show that you followed through with the hyperlink, that you've been there before, as it were, deja vu, and then it's got it in purple. So if you want something like against the dark background that's different than white text, then go ahead and click on the white text background, light one, and choose something like, ooh, light pink. That uh, works okay. And then maybe for the light background, you can change the light background and go somewhere else, maybe a lighter pink. In any case, we got this pink thing going. You go ahead and choose that, and you can also change the text if you wanted a different color, but I'm getting into dangerous territories because if I change this to a dark blue, it's kind of getting away from something that's very contrasting as far as black text. So you be the artist, you change it. Let's come down here. You can change the color for the hyperlinks, but when you're done, or if you're like, yeah, let's go ahead and reset it and start over again, and you're like, hey, I like it the way it is. Okay, I better make one change. Let's go ahead and use something besides black text against light background and use maybe blue. There we go. That's okay. And then we'll call it My Spiffy Theme Colors. Click Save. And then to apply it, oh, you see it's already been applied there. There's the light blue. It applies to this, but not to that. And reason being, if you watch my training video on how to apply themes, is that when I go to the Home tab, and you select the cell, and you come up here and click on the font, and scroll to the top, you got your theme fonts, and if the font you have here, like I have in this range, isn't a theme font, it's not going to update when you change your themes. So this isn't going to update because it's not a theme font. What kind of font is it? Well, it's Arial. And the current theme font is Calibri for the body, so when I select this down below, is it Calibri? Yes, so that is a theme font. So let's go back to our page layout here, and I did that so you can compare and contrast against, hey, this area is going to update with any themes that I change as far as the colors and font types go as opposed to this one where it's just static, dead. It doesn't care about being thematic. Then let's come back up here, and let's go and click on Colors, and there it is, My Spiffy Theme Colors. So if you want to tweak that, you can right-click on it and go down to Edit. Update it, so if you don't want this light blue, maybe you want something red. Oh, that's going to be fun. Click Save. It updates. doesn't update up above because it's not set to be included as a theme with the colors, or even the fonts for that matter. In fact, let's come up here and click on the fonts and say, eh, I don't like any of these. Let's go ahead and create our own custom theme font, select it, and for your headings, and we talked about heading styles in an earlier training video. When you apply a heading style, it'll be in Cambria, or how about if we choose Comic Sans, and then Calibri, Sure, why not? We'll leave it as is and say this is our spiffy custom font and then click save. And let's go ahead and select the range here and make that into our heading font. Right now it's just the body of it. So if I come up here and click on the home tab and change it from the body as a theme, but say I want it as a heading, then it updates it to Comic Sans. Hey, because that's the theme I've selected for any font that is connected to the theme by choosing a theme font. So when I come up here on the page layout and I click on the drop down arrow, there's my spiffy custom font. If I choose another theme, you can see it updates it down below. But we'll leave it as is. 
And then, of course, if you want to get rid of it, you can right-click on it and delete it. I'm not. Let's go ahead and click off and say, OK, I like the colors. I like the fonts. The effects, you can't customize. What you see is what you get. You can, however, choose something here, like a riblet. Mm, that sounds like something you'd get from McDonald's. Let's go ahead and choose that. And then when you want to save this, so you can apply it to future workbooks, and I have to go through this again by recreating this perfect theme for your colors, fonts, and effects. Come up here, click on the Themes drop-down arrow, and of course you can hover over these and update the colors. The fonts have nothing to do with colors, so this is updating here with the color because that's not font. Those are banded rows, and that's a color that can be updated. In any case, go ahead and click on Save Current Theme, and we'll call it Spiffy, and click Save. And when I go ahead and click on File, go down to New, and do a blank workbook. And I want to update this with the Spiffy theme layout. Click on Page Layout, go to Themes, click on the drop-down arrow. Hey, there's something Spiffy. And of course, you can right-click on it and delete it as well. Yes, go back to it. It's gone. Close out, back to my worksheet. Click on Themes, it's gone. But not my custom individual elements that make up a theme. Theme colors or theme fonts, they're there. So I can go ahead and resave it. Again, if I want to use the combination of colors, fonts, and effects for a future theme in another workbook. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.